Welcome to Pinball Mayhem. Today I'd like to show you a 1949 College Days that I finished the restoration on a few years ago and uh, just fixing up for the uh, gentleman that uh, purchased it from me. Uh, it's really nice shape. I'm going to do a flyby, kind of explain everything I did to it and also show you uh, a little bit of uh, gameplay as well. So uh, as you can see it's, it does have a reproduction back glass. It's in real nice shape. Uh, I received this as a partial restoration from somebody. The cabinet has been restored, some of the wood uh, on the machine had been restored, and not the legs, but you know, some of this, this wood. It was in pieces completely. The head, uh, cabinet was restored, but not the wood surrounding it. So um, let me take you through a little bit of a flyby and show you the game. So if we look, we can see the cabinet. Looks real nice. I was looking at the uh, the back glass. Is a reproduction back glass. Uh, repainted the black around the outside. I used a uh, tongue oil on all the wood. It was stripped but not finished. Uh, no, did not use a tongue oil on the wood on this one. I used a, a polyurethane a satin water base that the. Uh, person that started it recommended. All the wood surrounding the playfield had to be finished and restored. The playfield was already repainted and cleared when I received it. In pretty nice shape. Had to source a few more parts, clean it up real good. The uh, red plastic uh, piece was completely gone. I ended up getting that from a uh, uh, pinball rescue and uh, the uh, plastics were completely warped. I had to get new ones of those. Unfortunately for me, shortly after this game came out or got finished, the playfield, uh, the pop bumper bodies started being reproduced. So these these dead bodies with the um, with the uh, were actually dead body styles, but cut out for active. So right now, what I got on there is the originals. I'd have to, you know, if you replace these originals with new ones, replace the caps, otherwise they don't fit. Uh, but these are reproduction. Uh, but luckily, all the original posts are there. If you notice, there's no T posts. These screws have little uh, washers on them that uh, protect the plastic. They're kind of like a fashion washer, and that goes down into the wood, and then the rubber stretches over it afterwards. Switches are kind of unusual, not the normal leaf style. It's the uh, style that touches uh, that, that has a little switch on the bottom that this is a lever that activates and the flippers are a little reversed. So the trick is with this game is to get all the players on the field by uh, completing all the numbers. And you also get points and back then points are the thing. So what I'm going to do because it's hard to show gameplay in the uh, back glass at the same time. You see all these players here. They all have numbers on them. You're going to light those players' numbers as you light them on the, on the play field. <coughs> and it's a lot of nudging. So we have all of our numbers on here. It's going to be a little hard to see with the exposure. But we got um, the 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and 11 that everybody that's everybody so let's see if I can get them on there I'm just gonna lay the microphone down in a spot that you may not be able to see it and give this a shot Size, but that's only like replays, and also you got this clock in the middle, which is bonus 1500. 
right, so let's, let's keep going and see if we can get um, six and five. I feel a game like this is, requires a lot of noise. when I hit that switch that there we go I got them all and uh, got into a million so let me uh, show you the glass and I'm gonna play another game and watch you guys watch the glass hope I can do this good Which is nice and sensitive. That was some gameplay from college days from 1949. Hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to subscribe on YouTube and follow us on Facebook. Thank you.